This is the Serengeti as never seen before, viewed through the eyes of East African guides Richard Knocker and John Vikavuyu, award-winning wildlife photographer Paul Joynson Hicks and inspirational filmmaker Eliza Powell. For the first time in decades, this extraordinary wilderness stands almost empty, a unique but bittersweet time to be here. Over eight days, they'll be bringing you a rare glimpse of the Serengeti and all its inhabitants in a visual diary. We hope this encourages you on your own safari, so together we can continue to conserve this precious wilderness. Yay, we're back! We're back! I'm so it's excited! So good, isn't it? So good. First official day, isn't it? First official day. Yes, we're back. Was... Yes, we're back. Mm. What are we going to see today? <gasps> Who knows? Crocs. 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 Yeah. I'm Crocs. Crocs. I'm going to see leopard. Mega Crocs. Okay. You know what would be nice for me to see? What? A white-headed vulture. White-headed oh. vulture. So we're just driving along slowly, slowly in the bush. And uh, I saw a road to the left that I really wanted to take to go up to these copies. So I stopped and I was reversing back. <laughs> And these two huge male lions right next to the road. I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Bit of early morning grooming going on. Just get through that grass. Yeah, this is our first sighting. But we find here is what is called a farble. Is this poop? No, this is not poop. Lions, when they kill, they cannot digest the fur. So what they will do is, they will regurgitate it. Look at all these sharp bones that cannot so, be digested. There are some super sharp yeah, pieces really here. Really su super sharp. Like can you imagine that going through your digestive system? Can you imagine? You know, it's, you know, look at how sharp they are. Here's the Serengeti. Um, and just to quickly locate where we are for this series and where we are for last series, here's the road in. We came, and this is Narby Hill, where we were last series. So now what's happened is we've come through Narby, up the main road, and this is where we're at for this series. This is Serenera, which is the central area of the Serengeti, and it's named after the Serenera River. And we're camping just here by Nyaraswiga, just in front, just north of Nyaraswiga Hill, up here. And this is where we're going to be for this series. We've got this gorgeous pair of speckled mouse birds grooming each other, preening each other, aloe grooming. And they love the morning sun. They like to sit on the east side of the bushes and exposing their tummies to the morning sun just to warm up. He's doing really wide splits here. It's a very odd posture. And here we are. It's about, well, it's about eight o'clock, but we're sitting in the middle of this troop of baboons. Um, so grooming obviously is really good for remo removing parasites and flakes of skin. Um, but it's also a really good social interaction, very important for bonding. So the male getting a nice grooming here. The female that's grooming, she's got a tiny infant tucked in there. Let's see if he'll come out and give us a look. There, the baby. So, like many primates, when they're born, when the newborn infants are black with pink bare skin, so he's got lovely big pink ears. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? A bit like human families, everybody's fascinated with babies. This baby will be so well taken care of. We're in a big troop of baboons here. There's lots of safety if there's any threat any member, including the babies. All the big males will get together for a collective defence. A herd of thirsty wildebeest very cautiously approaching the Grumeti River. They know from long experience that this is a scary time. There are huge crocs in this river. Um, and then all kinds of predators lurking in the trees as well. So they're very nervous about this. It's now the hot time of the day, so they'll be feeling good and thirsty. I'm surprised they're not drinking at this more open area. 
looks way safer to me. But they've done this one. Something spooked them and off they go. It's so extraordinary to see a full-on river crossing at the Grimetti River, just like you'd expect to see on the Myra, with wildebeest pounding into the water, and just sheer drama like I've never seen before on this river. So here we are. I honestly thought that the safari, my photo safari for today had been over, but we've seen all these thousands of zebra and they're all coming down to the water to drink. They're so desperate. Look, look, look. And so see here, they're coming down to drink, but there's a huge crocodile in the Serenera River here. And now they've come back. They're very skittish, but they keep coming back because it's the middle of the day, it's really hot and they're desperately thirsty. But look how skittish they are. There's still a crocodile in here. There is. Wait for it. Oh, there he goes again, there he goes again, but he missed. Zebra's one, crocodile nil. So here we go. Look, they keep coming back. They're so thirsty. Look how skittish they are. That baby wildebeest was lucky. They keep coming back, keep coming back. Thousands. And look, 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 look. Okay, so now, oh, did you see just there? So the, 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 the crocodile has taken a baby wildebeest. That is so incredible. And he's killed it, and now there he is. So now he's got to try and find a way of... Uh, ripping into the flesh because uh, he doesn't have teeth to cut so he's got to find a friend to help him to hold this baby wildebeest and now he's there looking for his friend still looking for his friend <laughs> so our first photo tip of this series is action photography so we've got an amazing scenario here going on we've got zebras coming down to drink We've got a crocodile potentially hunting. So what I want is I want to freeze the action. So that the first thing I'm going to look at is over a thousandth of a second shutter speed. So over a thousandth of a second shutter speed. The next thing is I don't know whether the action is going to be come front, back, sideways. So with the zoom lens like this, I want to make sure I've got a big depth of field. So I'm going to go to F11 at a thousandth of a shutter speed. So that means that takes me up to ISO 800, even in this bright sunlight. So ISO 800, F11, a thousandth of a shutter speed. And for once, um, I'm gonna go into continuous shooting. So just in case, so just so you catch all the action. So let's just see. Oh, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Ah! <sighs> fabulous way to end our first day back on safari.